Okay, in this example we're going to talk about implicit differentiation. And implicit differentiation is really nothing much different than regular uh, differentiation. First off, um, an explicit equation is one that, if I can spell correctly, is one where you normally have y by itself and x is on the other side. So these are two examples of explicit equations. An implicit equation is one where the x's and y's are all mixed up on the same side. So you can see we have an x and a y on the same side. That's considered an implicit equation. Okay, So that's all the terminology means right there. The main idea to remember is normally we take the derivative with respect to x, for example of x squared, and for that we simply get 2x. Notice that these symbols match up. Well, if I take the derivative with respect to x, say of y squared, the symbols don't match up, and to take the derivative we would like them to. So the idea is we'll simply rewrite the d dx, imagine as being a fraction, as d dy, dy dx, and we still have our y squared hanging out there. So right, imagine the dy's canceling out and I would have d dx again. Well, I can put the y squared inside of the two, and now the symbols do match up. So if I take the derivative this part I'm going to get 2y, but notice there's a dy dx left hanging out. And this is going to be the moral of the story when doing implicit differentiation. Basically take the derivative like normal, and if you're taking the derivative of something say involving a y or a z, as long as you're taking the derivative with respect to x, you'll tack on a dy dx or dz dx. Okay, so in general the procedure for doing one of these implicit differentiation examples basically just take the derivative like normal again adding dy dx's where needed and you only need those when you're taking the derivative of something not involving x. The next thing just get rid of any parentheses that may be floating around and lastly just solve that equation for dy dx. So let's do a basic, a basic example here got one made out. So we want to find dy dx and notice I do have an implicit equation. I've got some x's and y's jumbled up here. So if I take the derivative of this thing, again the derivative of x squared, well that's just 2x, and I'm gonna to have to use the product rule on this next part because I have a product x times y. So if I take the derivative of x, I just get 1. I'll leave the y alone. I don't need a dy dx because I didn't take the derivative of the y piece yet. Plus, now I'll leave the x alone. And the derivative of y is 1 dy dx. Next, we take the derivative of cosine of y. That'll give us negative sine y. And again, I have to tack on my dy dx. And on the right hand side, the derivative of 8y will be 8 dy dx. Okay, so now I've done the derivative part. The only thing really left that I have to do in this case is to get the dy dx's on one side and everything else to the other. So I'm just going to remove my parentheses here. Normally you would distribute if there was anything to distribute, but in this case, is really not. So get rid of your parentheses. dy dx and that equals equals 8 dy dx. Okay, so notice I have three terms that have dy dx's and I have two terms that have no dy dx's. So I'm going to keep the terms that have a dy dx on the left side. So I'll have x dy dx, 
minus sine y dy dx. I'm going to move the 8 dy dx over by subtracting it. So minus 8 dy dx. And now the two terms on the left, the 2x and the 2y that didn't have a dy dx, I'm going to subtract those over. So minus 2x will bring the 2x over, and minus y will bring the y over. Now the point of doing this is everything on the left has a dy dx in it, so I can factor that out. So I'll pull out the dy dx, and I'm left with x minus sine y minus 8. So I just pull out the dy dx, the dy dx, the dy dx. There's nothing left to do on the right hand side. And to get dy dx by itself we simply divide by all of the stuff in the parentheses. So I'll be left with dy dx on the left side and on the right side I'll be left with negative 2x minus y and after dividing I'll have x minus sine y minus 8 and that will be our solution to this problem so again the basic idea all you really need to remember when you're doing one of these is when you take the derivative involving a y term do it like normal but simply tack on your dy dx and it's certainly something easy to kind of leave out and forget, especially if you're doing these for the first time. But other than that, that's the only real trick. The algebra can get a little tedious in some of them, but like I said, just move your dy dx's to one side, everything else to the other, factor out the dy dx, and divide by what's left over, and that'll be your answer.